What can I do? I'm a patsy. What can a patsy do? I worked like a dog for 20 years, so some pumpkin have her. That's what I've done. In the worst times, I mean in the worst, when there wasn't a ship anywhere in the harbor, I didn't stand around looking for relief. I hustled. When there was no ships in Brooklyn Harbor, I went over to Hoboken, Staten Island, the west side, Jersey, all over, because I made a promise. I took out of my own mouth to give to her. I took out of my wife's mouth. I walked hungry plenty of days in this city, and now I gotta sit in my house and listen to a son of a bitch punk like that and him come from nowhere. I gave him my house to sleep. I gave him the blankets off my bed, and he goes and takes and puts his filthy hands on her like some goddamn thief. I just get in bed and you come banging on the door. You better want something awful important. I'm uh, Bob Nelson. I'm running. Oh, jeez, yes. I'm sorry, but anyway, you should have said something. Look, come on and have a cup of tea. Why, Jumpin's, I love four Most people knew my father as Phil Collins from television's hit series Trailer Park Boys, and that he passed away back in 2013. So my purpose for wanting to put together a documentary about him is really about paying homage to him and showing everyone just how brilliant and talented an actor he really was. Born in St. John's, Newfoundland, Rick was raised in Gander with his brother John by his parents Jack and Nell Collins. Growing up, he took piano lessons and had aspirations of becoming a writer. He even wrote a few articles for the Gander paper, The Beacon. Rick would move to Halifax, Nova Scotia in the 1970s and eventually get married in 1977. He would go on to receive an honors BA in theater at Dalhousie University in 1980. In 1981, he would study under Robertson Davies at the University of Toronto, earning a major in drama and a master's degree in English. In 1982, Rick would become a father for the first time and have two more children in 1984. Throughout his life, Rick worked in theater as well as in various movies, TV shows, and commercials. His first movie role would be in the 1983 action film Siege, otherwise known as Self-Defense. But Rick could do more than just play a gunman, as seen here in this footage from a production I was unable to identify. Yeah, there's some sort of thing. Well, what are you talking about at your age? Why, well, you've got half a life left ahead of you. You're beautiful. <laughs> oh, thank you, Charlie. Hey, have you seen the sports section? Oh, no, I, I never touch it. Oh, here, look, my niece is in it. She is? Yeah. Here, look. The you're international figure skate. Your niece, Charlie. She's Willie's sister. Yeah. Hey, she's doing real good. Twins. Well, that's good in those circles, huh? Oh, yeah. Yes, Charlie, that, that's real good. I only wish I could say I helped her out. Why won't you meet Charlie? Ah, she came in here a couple of weeks ago crying because she didn't have enough money to make the trip. Jeez, I couldn't give her nothing. 
But you got the money somewhere, so look at her now. Can you tell us what got you in it? Yeah, coming up. He also had a great capacity for drama, as seen in this footage. I'm sorry I grow much all the time, kid. Ah, uh, you know me, I blow up, but it don't mean nothing. You're just like your old man. He never yelled at anybody in his life. You know, people used to wonder whether or not he and I were really brothers. I worry about you, Willie. You know, when you're moody and quiet. I'm afraid you do something crazy, just like your father. It's not good to hold things up, you know. You've got to let off some steam. Yell, or even talk. It's like I'm talking to myself. Whether playing a jolly Santa Claus or a gruff laborer, Rick could do it all. Uh, damn it, Flynn took you long enough to get here. I've got two gall dare lifts down since last night, and the bull moose is acting up. I don't know what's wrong with them. It shakes the living. Who's this? A new apprentice. She's a girl. I can tell. What the hell are they sending a girl for? Don't they know we've got work to get done here? Some kind of grant ranking, guys. Just get these things working. They shake so bad I can't carry a load on them. Did you find some place to change? Gotta get this mess cleaned up fast. The company just don't have the cash flow to let the machines rest. Throw in a connecting rod. Our guy tested the compression. He didn't think that was the problem. Maybe a bushing shot in the crank. Jeez, that's all I need. Dad goes screaming for this casing, and I get a stripper. Get those damn machines running, will ya? In 1989, Rick would play an evil hillbilly named Uncle Joe in the action film Snake Eater, which starred Lorenzo Lamas. also become well known for appearing in many TV commercials, one of his most iconic being Markdown Marvin. Marvin, wake up. We've got too much inventory. You better do something pretty quick. Too much inventory? Where's my red Markdown marker? I've got to do the right thing. Here are some of the best buys at AMM sales. With buys like these, you better hurry. AMN sales, inconveniently located, hard to find, easy to buy. Uh, looking for bargains? Well, look no further. I'm Markdown Marvin, remember me? It's time to get ready for summer, for sailing weather. But Markdown Marvin wasn't the only commercials he did. There were many others. Are everywhere, isn't it nice? Somebody can. Something we 
And this one always makes me laugh. Watch for our grand opening specials throughout the month of June at our new Sackville Road location. We also specialize in gas tank repairs. So take it from me, you red rap mat. If you got a bad red, you better not nap. If your gas tank's losing mid money, you're losing. No one knows your cooling system better. <laughs> I remember going to the Halifax Shopping Center at Christmas. What was it I was supposed to remember? Remember to visit Santa Claus. Remember? I've got a lot of pull here. <laughs> now I remember. The Halifax Shopping Center. A Christmas to remember. I even remember where I parked my sleigh. Ho ho! But where are those darn rings? Playing Santa was never unusual for Rick, but this next ad for Pizza Delight has to be one of my favorites. I've called this meeting to introduce a new merry man. Is he a man of principle? His father was a teacher. Is he from the Holy Land? Well, he's from Newfoundland. Who is he? Jimmy of Flynn. How's it going? But can he feast like a merry man? Everyone can feast at Pizza Delight. It's back. Pizza and Light's 19.99 family feast, or the 10.99 feast for two. <laughs> it's some good. Of course, we all remember him for his role as Phil Collins in television's Trailer Park Boys, as well as appearing in three TPB movies: Don't Legalize It, Countdown to Liquor Day, and Trailer Park Boys: The Movie. He also had a prominent role in Trailer Park Boys TV movie, Say Goodnight to the Bad Guys. But he also got many other interesting roles in such TV shows as TV with TV's Jonathan Torrance, the Drunk and on Drugs Happy Fun Time Hour, Canadian sitcom Black Fly, and science fiction series Lex. Along with these, he also made appearances in such movies as Disney's Squanto, A Warrior's Tale, Shattered City, The Halifax Explosion, and, I think we all know and this scene in the film, Matters of Life and Dating. <laughs> you ordered a pizza? <laughs> One of my favorite scenes has to be in this independent film, The Cab Driver. Where were the exact moments where I made the wrong choices? It's not hard. You just need pity and a drunken perspective. Korea gave me two things. Nightmares and a urinary tract infection. And antibiotics don't do shit either. It still burns when I piss. After my father died, the next big moment of my life was when my guidance counselor, Mr. Dexter, called me into his office. It was the first time I ever heard him talk. Usually we just saw him walking the halls, looking pissed off. Hey, you paying attention to me? So since you're not a total idiot around computers, I got you this partial university scholarship. Don't fuck it up. I'm not always a nice guy. Get out of here. I think it should be mentioned also that Rick loved music and spent the later part of his life collecting and selling musical instruments. After going over all the footage and information, I think my father had a pretty great career and deserves to be remembered as an extremely talented actor who had depth and versatility. In the past several years, as a way of carrying on his legacy, I've also gotten involved in film, making my own movies as well as acting in shows such as These Woods Are Haunted and The Alaska Triangle. All in all, my father was a wonderful, fun-loving, charismatic guy who was very proud of his family as well as his contributions to the film industry. So in closing, I think it would be best to end this presentation with some memorable words from him. <clears throat> there is an art to the building up of suspense.